Tata Electronics has signed a deal with Taiwan's Power Chip Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation to set up India's first chip manufacturing plant in Gujarat. PCMC will provide design and construction expertise for the Greenfield Fab. It will also provide engineering support for the transfer of technologies. The facility will have a production capacity of up to 50,000 wafers a month. Shilpa Rani Peter spoke with Tata Sun's chairman N. Chandrasekharan and PCMC's Fra Frank Huang on their partnership. See, the uh, semiconductor is going to be fundamental for the future because everything is going to be technology-driven, data-driven. We talk about AI-driven, and we will talk about more um, new terms as we go into the future. But fundamentally, semiconductors power everything. Whether you talk about auto industry, whether you talk about power industry, consumer electronics industry, industrial IoT, medical industry, um, precision medicine, um, drones, aerospace. I mean, you can think of any industry from agriculture to very advanced uh, new tech industries. Everything is going to be driven by semiconductors. And so it is fundamental for a country like India to have the capability because once we have the capability, we will be able to custom design our products, our services, and come out with a lot of innovation. Right. And India has attempted to get into this field for multiple decades, but this has not happened. And uh, currently, Tata Electronics, which was started uh, during COVID mm -hmm. in the last four years, has uh, set up a huge electronics manufacturing facility and also packaging facility and also assembly and test facilities. But the icing in the cake is the foundry. And this is a very, very important step in India's semiconductor journey. We will produce logic chips, uh, five different technologies, technical nodes, uh, and this whole thing has been made possible because of the strong support and partnership we have received from PSMC and Frank. Because worldwide, mm -hmm. every company wants to get into this. But it requires know-how, it requires capital, it requires talent, it requires a lot of execution, discipline, um, and a lot of investment in human resources and also the ability to build a partner ecosystem because there are a huge number of companies yeah. which all feed into uh, the foundry. So what this will do is to not only establish a very modern, high-end fab in Dolera, but it will bring a large number of smaller companies, but technically important companies mm -hmm. which will feed into this ecosystem and uh, this whole deal has been going on and obviously this could not have been done without a bold vision of our honorable prime minister who has led this from the front and the government has been very proactive in working with the industry and giving confidence to uh, people like PSMC. And this whole thing has moved, right. I would say, quite fast. And uh, we already have uh, started the groundbreaking. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, um, in the next couple of years or two and a half years, we should be up and running. What's the kind of employment this is expected to generate, sir? And how are you dealing with the technological know-how and the skilling that is required uh, for something that is very complex like this? So we are building the whole training around the semiconductor ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Already we have close to 50,000 people working in our manufacturing and this number will grow four to five times in the next two to three years. After that, for something like a fab, we need very special aid talent. Mm -hmm. We have already recruited a lot of people with huge experience internationally, all with 25, 30 years experience. We have assembled a very large team. Now we will be training a lot of engineers. Our first set of engineers are going to Taiwan. Um, to work in the PSMC facilities. Mm -hmm. 
And so it will require talent at multiple levels, and we are investing on that talent. Technology sharing that you are doing, right? So, can you quickly run us through how that is going to um, happen, and uh, what is the kind of technological expertise that you are lending? And this is a first of its kind partnership when you talk about tech uh, expertise being lent uh, support in that form. Can you run me through how that is going to work? Okay, when we talk about this, and uh, we uh, 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 we have uh, support several technology note which. I think suitable demand of Indian trip in the, in the next few years, and we both agree. And uh, 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 the first step, and the, the most important is the choosing partner. I I choose the Tata. I think I have more confidence, especially supporting by Indian government. There is there is a worse. I want to say there is a World Semiconductor Association. There's a six country, United States, Japan, EU, and Korea, and Taiwan, and China. I, when I was the chairman of the association, I was looking for the number seven. That's India. Now we're going to make it seven, not six. Right. So this is my, my effort. Uh, I think the Indian government and the Indian company has showed a very highly interesting and societic and Effort. I was. I don't know anything about Indian industry. Two years ago, I was assigned by our former president uh, to to come to here, a Shai. I don't know nobody. But within two years, now I'm going to build a, a fab in India. That's amazing because uh, the reason of this, there are several countries, and these six country ask me to take to support technology. But I'm not that big. I can, I can focus on one. So I choose India. I have my own reason to, to do so because I see the opportunity in India and the need of a trip itself. As a you know, chairman said, if you don't have a trip, everything you make effort, you, yeah. you make it marginal because all the, the components import, you, you are not able to take special control of trip yourself and all these things. I think for the Indian industry to move ahead, you need this technology, you need this fab. But it, to, to do that will require everybody's effort. The most important is your Prime Minister Modi, who want to invest and help and support making India become important high-tech country, which the bottom line is semiconductor manufacturer. Right. So uh, with this and the very strong financial ability and high-tech position of the uh, Tata, and plus us, we three become a very tight partner. I think this is going to quite change success. Right. And you know, uh, what, what was the idea between this type of a partnership and going forward, will you also look at maybe investing um, in the Indian semiconductor in this partnership or even in general in the India semiconductor opportunity that you just of spoke course. about? Of course. I, I personally, the way I feel in India today, that there's a big prospect of a future, like I saw it before 10 years ago, 20 mm -hmm. years ago, India and uh, China. But I think that step by step, we're going to work together with develop technology. We may join together, develop the chip design company, all these things. I am very glad that now we have a one fit on India and that there will be more and more opportunity because I, I sense the support of the government, I sense support of major industry in India. I think it also there's, you know, for example, now some Apple handset made in India, you know, all these things is, is moving. Yeah. So I want to part of this action and by joining this uh, action on semiconductor. But uh, once this is established, I see what can I do in every area. But no doubt the Tata and the power chip, which support the Indian government, we're going to have a strong partnership, we make things working. Right. So an investment is something that you'll probably consider down the line. Yes. I, I like to invest some in India, but uh, with this effort, I begin to understand India, so I know what should I do. Before right. that, I don't know nothing. Right. Understandable. This is the first uh, step for you going forward. Uh, you know, tell us when can we expect the first chip, uh, you know, to be out? I am very amazing. There are another country near to Taiwan who was trying to plan the fab, but they take time and forever. But my, I might surprise. I give the whole plan to uh, 
Tata, they already start to build. And to me, it's amazing, right. without question. Of course, Tata has ability in construction and all these things, which have impressed me so fast that they can do whatever they have to do. I don't have to worry about this. All I have to do is inside the fab, and then you have equipment set up, training people. You start to move, boom, you can do that. Right, so what, are the, what is the capacity that we're looking at, Mr. Wong, and also what are the chips that you will be manufacturing here, uh, and what are the major use case applications that you see for that? Right now, we are, have a five node, up to 22, 28 nanometers, start from point, point 0.13, and in each node, you have a different distinguished chip you need to make. But for this, amount of the technology we believe for the next few years India, this kind of technology was sufficient. Mm -hmm. But if we go to move further, further faster, we and in the, in the, in the Tata Electronic will find a way to move ahead and, you know, as a joint partnership, yeah. Right. You know, how is Taiwan as a country looking at India currently? Because it, India has such uh, aggressive ambitions when it comes to becoming a semiconductor hub. How is, uh, you know, Taiwan as a country looking at India and can we expect more and more companies to be coming here? First of all, when, once I choose India, other country in the area, very little chance they had to develop their own some kind of, I, I be honestly, okay. So uh, right, right, right now, Joseph Indian, Indian has a very big uh, electronic business, high tech business mm -hmm. ahead. And I bring that, win I open the window, uh, open the door that Taiwanese company now understand how to come into India because we have such a different culture. But I want to smoothly, but bring up Taiwanese industry and stay in India, or stay on India, because a lot of they coming, but they don't understand and, and make a lot of trouble themselves. But I guess I, 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 I'm trying to make up between the town people and town the company and Indian government and try to help help them to move up. And and I was I asked the minister and I asked the prime minister that something to be done between Taiwan and India. It's good. Right. So you're sort of opening the door and smoothening the road yes. for more companies yeah. to come in. Yes, yes. Right. Wonderful. And you know, as you look at the India ecosystem today, uh, you know, manufacturing or a chip, right, it's not just about one facility, there's packaging, there's so much more that's involved in uh, semiconductor uh, manufacturing. So uh, what do you believe that in India's ecosystem currently uh, is capable of and what more needs to be done? Okay. You know, in United States, all over you know, the world, even in Taiwan today, in TSMC, we have a lot of Indian engineers. We know they are capable. Indian, honest opinion, to me, Indian engineer is valuable compared to other countries in Southeast Asia. And so, so I think that with this kind of uh, ability, you, Taiwan's government right now opened the window, mm -hmm. let the more Indian engineers come to Taiwan to learning and training, and we can somehow stay in Taiwan, some bring back Indian. This is a this is a big big opportunity between us.